screaming. Let's deal some damage. Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One day I'll get this going real well. Ooh, what is that? What's that book? Oh my gosh. Cool. That helps. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Right. What have you got for sale? Cloths be praised. Uh, iron daggers. We done? We done. Okay. On to our next goal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In time of need. Ah, uh, yes, this one. I think I know exactly where to go and who to talk to. No, you don't. Be me, be. Come on in. Let me know if you need this anything. This is a local favorite. Take a seat by the fire. The first songs I heard. You. Hmm? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me. I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Come with me if you want to live. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red. Ooh, business ledger. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Mm-hmm. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. So yeah, there's a thing where you, you know, this is like one of those missions where you say you should probably get all the information just before you act. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we should probably do a lot of things before we act upon something. I ain't done. One of those is actually talking to the dude that's in the prison. I know you. you tried mercenary work? Before that, though, just in case I got a nice thing. Never knew. 
I like how I can still receive the blessing of Talos. Even if I, you know, you know, have the, have the curse of like, you know, werewolf and everything like that. <laughs> it's like, Talos still blesses you. It's like, cool. Wait, I know you. I'll take my leave then. Wait, I know you. Uh, am I gonna... Until next time. If you need portions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. Hey you, over here. I need to talk to you. What are you looking at? You have a death wish then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. So they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. How much to pay your fine? 100 gold will secure oh, my release. Oh, that's it? You can afford that, can't you? Absolutely. I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, let's just get this over with. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Hmm. Let's just pay it off. Good enough. I'll just come. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Cool. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard. Yes, I, I know. Paid. Now set me free. So they say killed Kamatu, but we're probably not actually going to do that. We're going to do a little other thing instead. So I think that place is all the way over there. I think my closest thing to that is the Karn. Karn. Karen, Karen, Karik, more proper. Whatever that word is. <laughs> uh, oh no, someone lost their cabbages. I wonder if that's an avatar reference. <laughs> someone lost their cabbages. That would be funny if that's like a reference to the cabbage dude. Cabbage vendor. Ooh, that's a big kitty. Yo! That's a big kitty. Big kitty. Aw, oh, poor fox. Oh! Oh, he's gonna... Oh, I bet he's gonna try and fight the freaking giant. Well, I'll let that happen first. Is that a blood dragon? He might actually kill... the giant. Uh, you see blood dragons on it have a tendency to do that. Oh. I know, I do have a thing called Dragon Rend. Uh oh, you're screwed now. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm? 
I'll let the uh, giant take care of him first. Yeah, the dragon. <laughs> I wonder how. Uh... Oh, yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. He's done. And we can't fly anymore. Oh, 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 never mind. I'll take the last hit then. It's like that, uh, it almost was like an equal match though. The dragon versus the, uh, Dragon versus the uh, giant. Looks like the giant would have won if he could have did one one more hit. More side. Uh, uh. And they all had a good uh, good loop. La la ya. Keep forgetting there's a lot of bugs you can find within the night time. So I should probably actually explore more during the night too, especially if I want to have more al alchemic properties. All right, once that pops one more time, that means we'll take our first break. Figure out if this is the area I want to be in. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah, this seems to be the area I need to be in. Hey, someone has their boots here and bread. Never should have come here. You never should have come here. Uh, I should probably drop off my, uh, my mead and wine collection. That'll probably be the next thing I'll do before I, after I finish this quest. Drop off the mead and wine. Huh? huh? My buddies. Loot while you're fighting. That's the best way to do things. Hey, still got me, huh? Find a better healing spell. Chevel. Mm. Let's see. Nord Mead. Nord Mead. Cool. White cap. Is that a oh, potato? Nope. I didn't want the potato. But cool. White cap. I like how there's this a kind of a chest here that's somewhat hidden, but not really because of the light. If there was no light being shined to the chest, it would have uh, been pretty well hidden. 
they try and make it pretty obvious that, oh, hey, there is something there that you probably won't. Is someone there? Is someone there? Come on, bring it on. Ow. Level up, <laughs> just to just to hit a little bit. All right, da, da. we're gonna do that. Um, level up smithing. Oh, I need to level up, level up for that. So in order to do advanced armor, I need to be level fifty, and I think I'm only yeah only forty two for smithing. Uh. Oh. I think what was it? Speech that I want to do. So a lure. And then I can do that. Once I level up again. <laughs> there we go. Is someone there as you hear like fighting and everything? It's like, gosh, you guys are deaf. Hmm. Bunch of food. Money. Oh. Uh, wrong thing, you nerd. Where's my fire breath? Wait, where is my fire breath? Oh, it's because, uh... I understand why. Oh, you know what? I haven't done this in a while. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, he snuck in a kill. I really, 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 really hope that the last. Okay, it's in here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really, 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 really hope. Yeah. And when you get a little overzealous. Do that and ebony a sword. There we go. Getting it good. What else is there? Oh, I would have missed out on that. How quaint. This guy has the ability to oh. kill me. Oh, 
eating my steaming in. Guys need to give me a breather. Okay, let's do that again. <sighs> Try and uh, unlock that merchant. You think you can take me? No. Oh. Yeah, it hurt, didn't it? Oh, oh, someone. Ooh, someone has some nasty magic. Someone's casting some nasty stuff. Have to wait for them to come over here. Is that him? Nope. Yeah, let's back up. Let's back up. No. Can't yeah. wait to count out your coins. Hot, hot gates. Hot gates. Ooh, okay, I thought that was me. <laughs> Thank goodness. Sometimes when they do those like one you know, those kill animations. It's so cheap. It's so weird that the enemies can do that to you in the game. I guess it's like on equal. Oh, you're the guy that killed me last time. Victory or it's not even a tough enemy too. He, he was just lucky enough to get that hit in. And he was, he's also using an orcish like weapon. Oh. Oh. Uh, he can kill me with his magic. I uh, need to get some healing going. Oh, jeez, they are relentless. Okay, which of these bodies have I not looted? <laughs> it's been a lot of them. This has been like the floodgates so far. Alright, what's the what's the damage of my current bow right now? My current bow does 29 and it's not leveled up or anything. That does nah not enough. Okie Hmm. Lord Mead. Mead. Nothing in the sack. Mead. On the strap. Hmm. Empty wine bottles. Ooh, plenty of gold. So they definitely got paid for something. I had to keep the cave uh, occupied. them just because okay I've already read that book cabbage potato potato apple what a difference salmon steak pheasants lots of food 
So I'm kind of wondering in the next Elder Scrolls if they're ever really going to have like a cooking tree. Like they're going to have more of an emphasis to actually eat in the game and all that and cook things. So once you go into alchemy and all that, it's kind of pointless to like eat to heal. You'll have like infinite amount of potions to heal yourself. You don't really have an emphasis to eat unless you're playing on survival mode. So it's kind of like... Oh, oh, oh. So there's traps. Let's probably look. Yeah. There be traps. Okay. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Yes. Let us talk a moment. And no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Oh. Not for her betrayal. Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. So she is a traitor. Of course, Senpai. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps. It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfell for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. Okay. So what do you want me to do? She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. Okay. All right. I'll do it. Good. We'll be waiting for you at the stables. It will be good to finally be able to return home. All right. Let you guys do your thing and all. I'll take your mead, though. As long as it's not considered stealing. Ooh, that's a hefty bounty. No, it's not a very good shield for me, I think. Need something? Nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that though. Was it apparel? Oh there it is. Oh it is actually better. Really? Oh, uh, well, guess it is. And it increased shock resistance. Cool. But once I'm starting to make, like, glass and all that, shouldn't be a problem anymore. Blink. Boink. Boink. All right. leads out to here. I don't know why I keep taking those. They're not really worth anything and 
I don't really use those arrows anymore. Who knew? <laughs> Kleptomania, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thought I heard something. I thought I heard something. Must have been wind. Got that down. Boop. 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 This is a local Sleeping? favorite, one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh. Any news of the Alakir? I defeated them by her. What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. I found a way in. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? Sorry, you lady. You really think this is the only way I trust you? Let's not waste any time. Follow me. Oh, there once was a hero. Maybe Follow time. your nose. To white run from Olor instead. And the bride. Let's go, lady. Yeah, she uh she committed treason to her country and all that. It's like, yeah, you're not, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna have a good time, aren't you? grabbing flowers as we're going in to going to turn her in we meet at last my dear lady what is this what have you done Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Oh. Paralysis. Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. Thanks. Ooh, 500 gold, too. Farewell. Well, thank you. Well, see you later. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what happened when you're a manipulator. And a treasonous scum. Enemies nearby. What? Oh, is it because of her? It's probably because of her. She's not aggressive right now, but I guess, I guess if she wasn't, like, paralyzed, she would probably be considered an enemy. Someone cast it petrified on her. You know what? I know it's a controversial thing to say right now, but I'm getting more and more excited about that Hogwarts game that's supposed to be coming out as of this recording. <laughs> of course, the game's probably going to be out 
for about two months by the time this video comes out. And it, it would probably either age well or age badly, depending on how the game does. <laughs> You're someone who can get got some good piece, the finest weapons and armor. That'd be the funny part. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's, you know, depending on what I say about the game. <laughs> Oh, you only have one ebony. Oh, no, it has ebony ingot. Ugh, my bad. Oh, so she hasn't restocked. Is there anything I could sell her? Oh, yeah. The shield I'm probably not using anymore is probably a good thing to sell first. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. I'm just going to give you that. Give you that. Give that away. Okay, so that's the one I'm currently using. Mm -hmm. Should probably break down some of these pelts too. Okay. Don't. Let me use it. Let me. I was over. I was almost over encumbered. That's insane. That's insane. In the membrane. Insane. Got no brain. Hello, my lord. Uh. Did you bring me anything? Uh. What would you like? I'd really like a dolly, or maybe a pretty new dress. Okay, I don't think I have hand. Not this time. Aww. Alright, but a dolly. That's the first thing she said. That's pretty much the thing she wants the most. What have you. Oh, yeah, I could sell things to her. I forgot. A bit of this and a bit of that. To be honest, where is her store? <laughs> I never actually followed her to actually see what she has for sell and stuff like that. Iron ore. She sells a couple of things. Like, nope, she doesn't have any glass stuff. Nope. Books, candlelight, potions. Ah. <laughs> 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 Sure. We have a cozy little profit. Here. <laughs> this is your share, love. Manipulation. Thousand hundred gold. Love. Goodbye, my love. Mm. All right, let's drop off the. F oh, I'm drinking that. But. Oh, stamina regeneration goes slower. Only for 30 seconds, though, so I'm I'm good there. 23? Jeez. Just, oh, sweet rolls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, is there anything else I should drop off? Scales. Because I'm going to make some scale armor. A dragon scale armor. Eventually, when I get to that point. Flawless Garnet, Flawless Ruby, Garnet, Gold Ore. Hmm. How much is that? That's about 10 pounds worth of strap. Strips. Strip straps. Amatoth Beacon. Hmm. I put that away. Got a stupid tankard. Yeah, I should probably try and find a way to sell some of the useless stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. 
like, I noticed that the, uh, probably been doing this playthrough for a few weeks now and everything like that, and I don't think the Skyrim playthrough has actually hit, um, the YouTube uploads yet. <laughs> So I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, like actual the YouTube archives hasn't caught up to that yet. <laughs> YouTube is so far behind, man. Hmm. I still need to find this dude, wherever Draven is. He needs his bow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to store any potions that pretty much needs to be stored. No. Maybe what I should do. Wraith has a big meaning. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Then don't. Oh. Oh, that would be kind of neat. Didn't even notice that. I should be putting books there. Yes, my wonder if what do you need? I have any books. Mama. Uh huh. Let's. Of course, they don't. S they don't cat categorize. Oh, what's the right? Oh yeah, don't press X. Want to press A when we uh. Grab a book. No, 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 no. Uh, some of these are keepsakes. I'll probably put that in there too. Mm -hmm. Any reading material I'll put in the bookshelf. <laughs> Which I do have a lot of reading materials. Thing is, I haven't really been collecting books. Uh, it's mainly notes. So I wonder if the notes will show up on the thing or not. Right, that's all the reading material. Yes, my love. What do you need? Books. All right. Store, store. Can't place that many. Oh, it has like a limited. Cool. Now it's not that great, but cool. What about this one? Okay. <laughs> it's it's kind of clumsy, but cool. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Hello, my love. Back to Hello, my love. Might as well just start storing stuff too. Put it in a drawer. <laughs> it is all, this is all her stuff. She has a lesser... Oh, why does she have a soul gem? Why in the world do you have a soul gem? Okay. Um... Well, now that I did that, I should probably continue. What is it? Top Star, Ogre, Susan. No, that's not the one. Yarwood will help. Yeah, that's the whole thing. 
So what I'm going to try and do is actually end the war. Or I even have to even think about that. Beacon. Oh, so this is a strange thing. I'll do that in a sec. I am to deliver a message to Yarl. Oh, wait. Perfect. Mercenary work? Might it might suit you. I, need I think when I take my break too, I'm gonna look up like what companions don't die. Uh, and uh maybe try and find that companion. I think there is a person within the actual companions that can't die during battle. Pretty sure. So they're like considered key characters, unlike your house Carl and all that. So instead of having her, you know, fighting battles with me, I just marry her and have her open a shop. I was like, yeah, it's not gonna be good if you die. May the gods watch over your battles. I have an important message from General Talius. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it. I see. Give the papers to my steward. As given strict instructions for, you know, your ears only. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just you know, give me eyes and ears. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it. Yes. Hmm. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? Ulfric were to attack Whiterun. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or to declare his intentions. Yeah. You'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torin. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He is a coward. Proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concordat? This again? <laughs> that was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend. Yeah. Steamed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. How long have you been in Skyrim? Yes. Give the man my axe. If he returns it to you, it means we have business to settle. If he keeps it, then we are at peace. I understood. Good. Good. <clears throat> Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are now we writing a mind, letter, Lord? I've got a okay, time for me to go. I need to make a few things clear. So I guess while I'm busy doing that... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
It's fast travel straight there. Hmm. Aldrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We yes, make it. Is Sol that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh, one. what's this? Ah, uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it. Well then. Tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chaff. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. We'll be seeing you soon. Sooner than you think. And what would you? The Empire has like a strike force waiting. He's not with us. He's against us. Can't wait to put your head on a pike. If Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders, now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell sorted out. Oh, man, are they all sleeping? What time is it? Oh, I guess they're all sleeping. Um, let's not wake them. Oop, oop, oop. Right. One more hour. Uh oh. Breathe. The outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there, they have catapults. Damn it. Mm. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just don't let me down, Scipius. We'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it! What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I tried. This is it. Another wanderer. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. Good job. The men are already gathering. You've the returned gates. with my axe. Mm -hmm. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Talius who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Okay. Good for now. Well, if you don't mind, spread the word. Go, city. go, go! Oblivion, take them. The storm clubs are here, in force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. Battle for white one. Wants to pull. One second. Now it wouldn't be a sky. I know. Yeah. 
since we're not currently in combat, it'd probably be best to run, run, run. Oh, we're already sieging. I supposed to talk to someone on the ramparts or I think so yep okay Make us whole. <laughs> rabble, rabble, rabble. Guess I'll uh, bring up my bow and make sure I'm using the right arrows. Let's see. Six. Four. All right, using ebony. Oh, okay, there we break through. <laughs> Great. Oh, oh. kill him. Yeah, they're not gonna survive for too long. Oh, it's a general. Oh, not anymore. Aw, oh, the general didn't stay around. Try to save that guy's life. That's a good guy. And there we go. You better run. <laughs> yeah, they're retreating. It's usually not good ethics to stab a dude in the back while they're running. Uh. Report to the Jarl. Revel in your victory here today, even as the gods revel in your honor. They already sing of your valor and skill. The halls of Sovngarde are no doubt ringing with your praises. In defeating these storm of traitors, you have proven the hollowness of their cause and the fullness of your hearts. The citizens of Whiterun are forever in your debt. But Alfred will not stop here. No, he will continue to strike out against 